Hi everyone, I am Frank Gulick of Cotton and Joy and I'm here today at the Riley Blake Design Studios to show you how to do a Joyful Stars table runner. Uh, this size is not included in the pattern, however I'm going to show you today how to modify the pattern to make this cute little table runner. Um, I made this table runner with my Daybreak Fabric Collection and I use mainly the mist uh, colors. So today I'm going to show you how to make the one block and then um, talk about how to put the table runner together. Before starting one block, as you see here, I like to lay out my squares. So we're going to put this over here. And I like to have my squares already cut and you'll just lay them out as a nine patch. So you'll need three here, the two here, and then you'll need the one white square that goes in the center for this part right here on the block. And I like to do this just so I can make sure that there's um, no prints that are the same together or to make sure that it's all nice and even on the block. And then you'll take your um, smaller squares and that's what's used to make up the star points on the block and um, each of the middle squares gets two of these. So we're, I'm just gonna lay that out really quick. And then the next step is to actually um, make the star points. And for that, you'll take your white squares um, and on the wrong side, since I'm using white fabric, it doesn't really matter. There's no right or wrong side, but if you were using a print, you will wanna do this on the wrong side. You'll mark a diagonal line with your, just like that, and that would be your stitch line. And you'll do that with all the squares. Um, today, I'm just gonna do two, so I can show you how to do this. And then you'll take your squares and put them on top of your print squares and you're gonna lay them out like so, so that the diagonal line ends right at the center of your print square. And you can pin them. I'm usually really bad at this and I don't pin at home, but this is one of those do as I say and not as I do situations. So you pin them so it's nice and then you'll take it to your machine and you'll sew right on the marked line. Okay, so after you've sewn on the mark line, you'll take your pen out and then cut a quarter inch seam allowance so that you um, can cut off this little triangle here. And this you can just um, toss and then you'll press this. You can either press it open or press it to um, the side. I prefer to press open, but it's really just a personal preference in this case. And then once you've had that first one press, we'll come back to this second um, marked square. And again, you'll put it um, right sides together and pin. And once again, you want the diagonal going into the center of the print square. And we'll do the same thing again, sewing, cutting, and then pressing. And that's how you get the star points here. And you'll repeat that process with the other three squares um, for the star. And I have those done already. So I'm gonna pull that out. And that's how you get, oops, had an extra one. 
um, that's how you get your star. And then all we have to do is just sew this together. And I like to sew by rows. And I usually just chain pieces. So I'll grab these two, these two, and this two, and then take them to the sewing machine. And you'll be putting these um, right sides together. And uh, you can pin them together. I'm a really bad pinner. I don't usually use pins very much, uh, but you can if you are more comfortable with that. And then we'll take this one. Finally, these ones, and I just line them up and so. Okay, and then they're nice in order with chain piecing, and then we'll take um, the last three in the same order and sew them on. Oops. Now that we have them all sewn together, we can just press them. And at this point, you can, again, press open or press to the side. Um, for this step, I like to press to the side. That way, when I'm putting the a block all together, I can nest my seams. And the way I like to do that is this top row and the bottom row, I'll press to the outside and this one I'll press to the inside. So, oops. this one to the outside. So then, oops, um, I'll pick up this bottom piece, nest my seams. We're gonna take it to the machine. And then next, we'll sew these ones over. And again, since I did all my pressing to the side, um, I can just nest my seams. And so now the last steps is we take it back to our pressing and we press these two seams. And again, you can press the side or open. I like to press these open to avoid some of the bulk. And there we go, we have a finished Joyful Stars block. And like I said, for the table runner, you only need three of these blocks. So right here we have three of the blocks and then you'll sew them to the strips, into one long strips, and then you'll add the borders. And that's all you need for your Joyful Stars table runner. Um, thank you so much for being here today.